Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Using Acrobat, you can easily add hyperlinks and other types of links to PDFs. This is helpful when you want to create a link to a web page within a page in a PDF document. To create a link using Acrobat, click the Add or Edit Link tool that appears within the Content Editing panel of the Tools pane in the Task pane. The cursor turns into a crosshair tool when you hold it over the PDF page, which you use to click and drag over the area where you want the link to appear within the page of the PDF document. As you click and drag, a blue box lets you see the boundaries of the link. When you let go of the mouse button, the Create Link dialog box opens. In the Link Appearance area of the dialog box, you can define how the link will look to someone viewing the PDF. You can use the Link Type drop-down to select either Visible Rectangle or Invisible Rectangle. If you select Visible Rectangle, use the Line Style drop-down to choose a line style for the rectangle. You can click the Color box to set the line color of the visible rectangle. You can then select the thickness of the line border from the Line Thickness drop-down. For both visible and invisible rectangles, you can use the Highlight Style drop-down to select an animation effect to apply to the link when it is clicked by a user. In the Link Action section of the dialog box, you can designate what happens when someone clicks on the link. The options are Go to a Page View, Open a File, Open a Web Page, or Custom Link. You can select the desired option button and then click the Next button to continue. If you select the Go to a Page View option, then a message box appears on screen and tells you to use the scroll bars, mouse, and zoom tools to create the target view of the page and then click the Set Link button in the message box to set the link destination. If you choose the Open a File option, then when you click the Next button, a Select File to Open dialog box appears. Use it to navigate to the file to open, then click it to select it, then click the Open button. You can then specify the opening preferences in the dialog box that appears. If you select the Open a Web Page option, then when you click the Next button, an Edit URL dialog box appears. You can then enter the URL of the web page to open, and then click the OK button to set the link. If you select the Custom Link option, then when you click the Next button, a Link Properties dialog box appears. The settings that you just set for the hyperlink in the Create Link dialog box are shown on the Appearance tab. Click the Actions tab to select an action from the Select Action drop-down in the Add an Action section. Then click the Add button. Depending on the action selected, an additional dialog box will open and prompt you to specify additional settings for the selected action. After entering any required information, click the OK button. Notice that your selection has been added to the Action section in the Link Properties dialog box. You can then click the OK button to apply your action to the link. To edit a link, first select the Add or Edit Link tool from the Content Editing panel and then double click on the link. The Link Properties dialog box opens. You can use the Appearance tab of the dialog box to adjust the way that the link looks in the page of the PDF, or you can use the Actions tab to adjust what happens when a user clicks the link in the page. 
When you've made your selections, simply click the OK button to apply your changes and close the dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.